Almost 2,000 years ago, the Roman legions reached the far north of England. They did not conquer an uninhabited landscape. Stone Age, then Bronze and Iron Age societies had lived and farmed here for at least 6,000 years before. Just what did the landscape of this most northerly part of their empire look like when the Romans arrived? And how did its rocks shape Hadrian's decisions about his wall and its construction? What were the challenges the Roman army of occupation faced? For them, an understanding of the landscape, its rocks and its resources, was not just desirable, it was essential. Their day-to-day -day lives and the resilience of the infrastructure of empire depended on it. What did rocks ever do for the Romans? The answer is pretty much everything. From defining the line of their defences to providing the materials that built them. Iron ore made their weapons and tools. Lead made the pipes that carried their water. Copper produced their utensils and ornaments. Coal smelted those metals and heated their rooms and bathhouses. Rocks ground their flour and sharpened their knives. Clay pots prepared their food and made tiles for their roofs. Minerals made their pigments and paints and even their makeup. Jasper, jet and gold fashioned their jewels. Springs and wells sustained them in this life and the next. Gypsum prepared their dead for burial. Inscribed stone marked their tombs. What insights can geology provide? What do rocks have to say about the wall's route between the Tyne and the Solway? Or the reason for building the turf wall in the west? Can they explain the deviations in the course of the Vallum Ditch? Or why the wall kept collapsing at Wall's End? Our rocks hold the clues about where Romans got their resources. Where the millions of tons of sandstone for the wall and for the forts came from. And the lime for their mortar. Geology helps us better understand all of these things and more. Where are the veins of iron, copper and lead that they mined and used in so many ways? What do ancient plant fossils have to say about where the coal came from that provided fuel for their leisure and for their industry? How many of these raw materials were sourced locally or imported from across the empire? How does science help us understand their origin? How does it help us identify where people came from, how old they are, or why their bones and possessions are preserved or not? This is a geologist's side view of the landscape and archaeology of Hadrian's Wall. A different, science-based perspective. One that raises some rarely explored but important questions that have a bearing on the history and the social and political narratives that are told. If these questions make you curious, a new book might help. Rocks at the Edge of the Empire will be launched in November 2024 at the Sill National Landscape Centre in Northumberland and Tully House Museum in Carlisle.